Hello guys and welcome to my new video. So today I decided to cover the Battle for Azeroth Alpha invite system and how the invites are distributed, uh, who got the invites, maybe what did they do to get that invite. I should mention this, that all of the suggestions that I make, all of the information that I have is based on other people's experiences. There is nothing set in stone, there is no 100% guaranteed way of getting an invite or that person did this then if i do that i'm gonna get an invite 100 there is no such a thing a lot of the suggestions like i said are based on other people's experiences they they're not 100 guaranteed so keep that in mind so what i did basically first of all uh a lot of people have asked me about this but i did not get the alpha invite um i am a bit disappointed about this but i completely understand because blizzard's initial alpha invite system went out to a uh, big streamers big twitch streamers big youtube content creators and i am definitely not a big streamer or content creator in terms of scheme of things in terms of greater scheme of things so i'm disappointed but i understand i understand why i didn't get it and uh, i've looked at other people who actually got this and how they actually managed to do it and uh, so first of all i've actually contacted blizzard about this as well and uh, i've contacted the, the support team and Honestly, every time I contact the support team, I get like the best answers. I got a really detailed answer about the alpha system and I'm always surprised by how quick and how uh, detailed the answers are. And I got a big, big letter basically saying about the list of things that you should do, that you try out. Um, and one of the things that I mentioned about this is that, first of all, it is an alpha phase. An alpha phase for a long time was commonly known as friend and family alpha invite system what that meant basically if you knew someone who works for blizzard if you knew a friend or a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever like you can have a friend of a friend and they can from what i've read on reddit and multiple other sites is that they can add you to a list of alpha testers or whatever and this list will basically means that you will always will get invited to specific betas now this changes some people said that they were added to the list, but they didn't get an invite. But a lot of times is that if you know someone from Blizzard and they add you to this pool of names, you will get an invite and you will play and you will test it out and things like that. So one of the best ways to get an invite is to know someone from Blizzard. And I, unfortunately, I don't know anyone from Blizzard or anyone who works for Blizzard. So, uh, well, tough for me, tough for everyone else. But that's one of the ways to do it. I've seen stories on Reddit where people... Um, become friends with blizzard employees over like like you know they were serving them food and they get invited i'm not sure how true that is but it is definitely a best way to get an invite besides that you should also note that the alpha testing stages right now a lot of bigger youtubers and bigger uh, twitch streamers have said that this alpha has been the cleanest it's ever been compared to other expansions in terms of bugs in terms of things to test it's actually very clean. It's not completely broken. Alpha usually is referred to a game that is very unfinished, very unstable. But a lot of the people have said that this has been a pretty good alpha. It's not too broken. There are issues with it, of course, but it's not that bad. Um, so that's why a lot of people want to try this out as well. But besides being a friend of a Blizzard's employee, there's a lot of different ways to actually get an invite so first of all there's been multiple posts on reddit and sites like that where people have you know people who haven't played the game or haven't played the game for a long time or even a a person who got an invite on a refer a friend uh, account which was basically a throwaway account where there was no characters on it at all it was basically never played and they received an invite they received an alpha invite invite on that account and few people suggested that that's blizzard's way of getting the people to resubscribe to the game but i don't believe that's the truth i think that's a myth like a lot, it is a myth it basically is a myth the biggest thing that comes to mind is pc hardware so if you're not if you're not a big twitch streamer if you're not a big youtube creator if you don't have friends in blizzard and if you're not a top top raider because a lot of people have um told me that if you like Okay, this has been told by multiple people. I'm not sure how true this is. If you have Mythic Argus on farm, 
for the last month or something, like you're farming Mythic Argus, your top, top end raider, you will get the invite to test out the raids, to test out the Feynman content. I've been told about this, so, like, the list of people who are getting this is friends of Blizzard employees, uh, big Twitch streamers to build up the hype, to test the game, so that's uh, YouTube creators and Twitch, uh, Twitch streamers, um, and then people who are top end raiders. Now, I'm not sure how many top end raiders are getting invited to this, but that's one... That's one grouping of people that most likely will get an invite. But before I go before I go on a tangent, PC hardware. So the people who might not play the game that much, who people who might not be top-end raiders, top-end streamers or whatever, and they received an invite, there's a high, high chance that they got an invite because of PC hardware. So years back, a couple of years back and things like that, uh, you have to sign up, well, actually, right now, you have to make sure that you tick a box for beta profile in your World of Warcraft account. So everyone should make make sure you have that ticked. Once you have that ticked, years ago, you used to have to send a diagnostic report of your PC hardware, of PC specs. So what kind of graphic card are you using? What kind of CPU you're using? And things like that. You used to have to do that and you send it to their, uh, to their account. Right now... It's been much improved. Your, once you start your client, if you have your client open, your client will actually uh, send or create a profile, a beta profile for you based on your PC's uh, specs. So there is a, of course, Blizzard is testing the game for millions of people. They're testing a game for millions of different hardware setups. And they have a minimum system requirement for Bile for Azeroth. So, it makes sense that Blizzard is going to test out the high-end PCs and they're going to test out the low-end PCs or the minimum requirement PCs and they're going to test out PC hardware that's in between. So there's going to be fringe cases where a person might be using, like in the example of the Refer Friend account, they might have been using an old PC, they might have been using a really weird PC setup and Blizzard has like realized they had a system or whatever and they see like, we need to see if that guy can actually play the game. If they can play it properly, if there's not too much lag, if there's not too much FPS drops, maybe their hardware is not that great, and they need to make sure that it's going to work. So there is going to be a set number of people who will receive this invite, no matter how long they play the game, no matter how good they are at it, just based on their PC hardware. So having a bad PC might be a good in this instance, because it makes sense. You are a big software developer you make a game and you need to make sure that everyone is going to be able to play that game no matter how good their pc is but there's going to be the minimum requirements of course so i can see that as being one of the big ways of getting into the alpha if you're not like a top end raider or whatever uh, so make sure that you opt in for the beta profile and hopefully your pc is gonna have is going to be weird enough to get into it but i i've heard a lot of people who got the alpha invite and it's most likely because of their PC profile, because of how they were updating and things like that. Uh, so let make so like I mentioned before, alpha system or alpha invite system. There's not that many invites going out. Like I mentioned, Blizzard is doing what they what they think is doing what what they think is right, which makes sense. Building up hype, giving it to streamers, giving it to YouTube creators, top end raiders, and family and friends. Um, and basically from contacting Blizzard, I've also been made aware of that the GMs or the Blizzard GMs are not responsible for giving out alpha invites. They don't, they don't do this. I, I, I was actually wondering which department of World of Warcraft of Blizzard is responsible for giving out uh, alpha invites. Is it the P There's actually a PR department, public relations department, if, you're, if you want to stream, if you want to start, if you're a big streamer and you want to be partnered with them or whatever, you can contact them and things like that. Uh, the customer support, which I've contacted them and asked them about it, I got a great response from it. They're not responsible for giving out alpha invites. Who's responsible for doing this? It's the developers. It's the actual developers and it's actually the Warcraft devs. And they have their own Twitter account and they tweet things about, you know, the game and things like that. And the recent tweet is basically saying that we do not give out keys. You get the alpha invite on your client basically we choose who they get it and things like that. They, they're actually responsible for it. And you can see that they're sending out these messages, messages as part of, it, part of a message that they don't want people to get scammed. There is no such a thing as alpha keys. 
there's no such thing as like as so click this link and you'll get an alpha key and things like that because people are going to get scammed by alpha and beta invites all over the place so right now there are no key giveaways don't be fooled by links don't click on random invite links and things like that right now you need to make sure that the, the email is from blizzard and developers work up developers are going to be giving out these alpha invites at this early stage i'm not sure how this is going to change in the beta i'm sure it's going to be changing in the beta but in the alpha right now it's all about the warcraft devs and lastly if you're the person who's looking to really start playing the beta who's really start looking to uh, start playing the alpha from reading the messages across all of the forums and things like that be aware of the fact of getting burned out if you're going to get into the alpha into the beta and things like that it's going to be like a long time that you're going to be playing this game and when the actual game is getting released it might seem quite old to you already so i've seen a lot of people who said like this has made this has got me burnt out i wasn't excited for the new game if you're if you're looking to get access and you don't get the access just be aware of the fact that when the game hits it's going to be fresh for you it's going to be fresh for you and it's going to be exciting um but just a summary of the whole video be friends with blizzard employees Try and build up your streams, try and build up your YouTube, uh, try and be a top end uh, raider, and maybe try, maybe, I don't know, get a PC that's not normal, or try to try get a crappy PC that Blizzard will want to test their game on. That's the right now, these are the, these are the bullet points of the people who got an invite, of the people, of how they maybe got the invite, because it is very small list. And we'll just have to wait for the beta when there's more keys being launched. So thank you for watching this little video. Let me know how you feel about the invite system. Let me know how you feel about Blizzard um, getting the streamers, YouTubers and things like that. Um, let me know if you're excited for Battle for Azeroth. I know I am hyped up. I am hyped up and I'm I'm hoping to get that key because I want to get those rest. I want to get that rest of Jude content out there. Anyways, thank you for watching this guide and I'll see you in my next video.